I'm going to show you how to organize your kitchen by taking you on a tour, showing you all my favorite products and where I put them. I have my Scentsy in my kitchen. Um, it matches the rest of my kitchen, which is white. I have my containers for flour and sugar and all my other baking stuff, and they're multifunctional because they have these spoons on them. Easy to get what I need out of them. I have my spice carousel. These are really great. You shouldn't have your spices above your uh, oven because it dries them out. You can pour. I also mark like the day that they expire. Spices. And you can name them. They go by I think a fourth or an eighth increments. So you do how many you need and then it comes out the bottom. So again, multifunctional. I have my utensil holder, which looks really nice. It's also multifunctional. This comes out and it's a spoon rest, so I'm not trying to store a spoon rest. Also, I keep all my metal utensils here. Um, it just looks nicer rather than having your wooden and plastic and metal all combined together. So it looks really nice. But in my drawer here, I keep all my plastic ones. So this isn't metal, so I wouldn't put it up there. Pasta and stirs and stuff like that. Um, I keep my gloves in here. You shouldn't have them on your counter. Um, it just looks cleaner if you just keep them in a drawer. I keep a fridge liner in here, so it keeps the drawer clean. And my rolling pin as well. Here's where I keep my plates. I keep the dinner plates at the bottom. I also keep the dessert plates at the bottom. If you've gone to some of my other videos, your stomach is the size of your fist, so you really should be eating on plates like this anyway. But it makes it easier to grab them instead of grabbing the big dinner plates. Then I have my kids' plates. Up here I have bowls, my kids' bowls and cups. And as you see it, like all my plates are white. It's very clean and also it's round so it's not any weird shape or anything like that. And then my measuring cups, they all stack inside each other. And then my storage containers. Here's where I keep all my cups. So I keep all my tall glasses down here. Short glasses. And then all my kids cups. And then up top I have my mugs. And to go cups. Instead of buying a metal dish rack, I like this one. It's collapsible, so you could fit it anywhere. It folds flat like this, so it doesn't take up any space on your counter. You shouldn't keep your dish rack on your counter. I store it. I store it right under here, and it fits right with all my other pans. Um, if you have a metal one, you can see it takes up a lot of space if you're trying to keep it like that. But this one actually collapses all the way down. Under my sink I have this pantry. It organizes all my pans nicely so you don't have clutter or trying to stack them on top of each other. Then I have this organizer thing here. So it organizes like where my pans my dish rack and colander, my cutting board. On the side I have where I put all my plastic bags here. Here I have my rice cooker and my frying pans. As you can see they can stack nicely on top of each other. Here I have my bowls. The ones back there are more for parties um, or having guests over. These ones are storage bowls. I really like these because they stack inside each other and they have these lids. So I could, if I'm making something in them, I could put them in the refrigerator afterward. Um, because they stack nicely inside each other, it saves a lot of space as well. Here I have my cake stand, my chef pro, and pitcher. Here's my bulky items like my crock pot. Inside I have my fondue maker um, to save space. Down here I have my blender and other blending products like my, my paper towel holder. 
This is a soap dispenser and sponge holder, so it's a multifunctional tool. I have my pan scraper in here from Progressive. Um, this is my favorite tool. It scrapes off everything from your pans, your counters, floors. Everyone should have one of these. Here I keep my dish towel next to the sink so I can easily access it, but it's not draping over the sink. Here's where I keep my utensils. I like this utensil holder because it shows you like where the big fork should go, the little fork should go, and then I have my kids utensils here. Here I keep my measuring cups, my can opener and garlic press, um, all my stuff for fruits, my ice cream scoops, pizza cutter and apple cutter. This folds out. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Um, and you could put like your hot pans and stuff on here. And since it folds up, it doesn't take up a lot of space. Whereas if you have one that stays out like that, it would take out a lot of space to put it away. See, it takes up like hardly anything. Here I keep all my wraps and Ziplocs and chip clip holders. And here I keep my pot holders and dish towels in here. Then here I have my cheese cutter and then bowls and plates that I use for serving at parties. Under the oven is where I keep my pizza pans and baking dishes. This protects your microwave from getting splutter all over it. It's actually collapsible so you can keep it in your uh, you can wash it in your dishwasher but I just keep it in here. Up top here I just keep my first aid kit. Here's where I keep my cookbooks, my toaster, and my cookbook holder. This is my cookbook holder. I like it because it can store flat. Um, other cookbook holders can take up a lot of space. Over here, I don't have anything. Um, just because I have drawers doesn't mean that I need to find something to put in there. So don't feel like you need to buy stuff just to fill up space. Up here I have all my picnic stuff. So each plates and bowls and napkins each has a shelf. Um, my toothpicks. And that's a basket that I can take on picnics. And all my medicine. Then I have my knife block. You always want to keep your knives on a block like this. I like this one because it also holds scissors. So I have this backed in corner in my kitchen. So I keep these decorative jars back here. It has like dog food and, or dog treats and snacks. Um, these are really nice because they're decorative so they don't look organizational but they hold things and then I keep my KitchenAid back here. You don't want it out where people can see you. It takes up way too much space. If I had enough room in my pantry I would put it in there. Here's my fridge. I just have a quote up here. Then I have my conversion chart. I have a list of things that we do each week. And then I have this dry erase marker. This is also good for not only this, but marking your uh, foods in your refrigerator. Um, this is my daily schedule. And if you go to my videos, you can learn more about that. But as you can see, it's not cluttered with a whole bunch of pictures. You shouldn't put tons of pictures on your refrigerator. Just try and keep it clean. Here I keep my trash can and my dog bowls. Um, but as you can see it's closed and it looks nice. You don't want an open trash can so you can see all the trash that you put on there. Lots of times I see people line their family pictures or picture frames on their bar. Keep your bar clear of clutter. Don't put your picture frames up here. Here's the overview of my kitchen. Remember to keep your countertops clear, put your appliances down below, don't line things up on your counters. You can still decorate it. I have my rug and stuff on top. And that's it.